Alright guys, welcome back, and today we have Marvel What If Season 2, Episode 8, What If the Avengers Assembled in 1602. This is definitely one of my most anticipated episodes of the entire season, and we got the cliffhanger in Episode 5 where Wanda from 1602 sucked Captain Carter into that universe, and now we're going to pick up from there. Nice. To be or not to be. That is, is that Loki? Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows <laughs> of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by you, what is this? Them. <clears throat> Excuse me. Acting. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. When can we start throwing cabbages at him? I brought a whole bushel, and they're rotten. <laughs> <laughs> I love this already. Hi, there's the rub. It's another rift. Another rift. <laughs> Nick Fury. Oh, Captain Carter, let's go. <laughs> oh, hell is the hell is the queen? Oh, no! Oh, the scepter. Just like that, they move on. My sister is gone, lost to the storms that are tearing our world apart. The storms of Scarlet Witch summoned you to stop. She's cursed. Seize her. Oh, Loki. That's my Yorick. Summon the witch. I have words about the hero. Ooh, this is cool. What you're seeing has all the makings of a Shakespearean. <laughs> the sad truth is that there are worlds among the multiverse simply meant to die. Oh! Everyone, with their world collapsing in on itself, a band of heroes gathered together to save their reality. Oh! Wanda Maximoff used her powers to reach into a neighboring universe for a warrior, one willing to face impossible odds. Ah! On the run, with no way home, no place to go. Nothing. I can't hear you, you know. <laughs> really? You can? Well, I mean, sometimes, yes. Do you need something? <laughs> kind of busy. Peggy, you don't belong here. You're fighting a battle you can't possibly understand. That's cool. Well, two time periods, the 1600s and the early 21st century, have been compressed, stuck together like two pieces of gum. And if I don't find a way to unstick these time periods, this universe will shatter. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Worlds die every day. I've watched millions fade from existence. It happens. Well, not on my watch. Man, that's so cool that she can hear the watcher. Deathless Observatory. I let you go. Fare thee well, Bruce Rose. You are the finest winery in the land. Oh, is that happy? I didn't even realize. Carter is not the cause of this, my lord. But I still believe she is the key to our survival. For I sense there is another. Time that is still to come. Uh, Poppycock. Calm yourself. <laughs> Tony! Oh, oh what? Uh, Morning, Tony. Five more minutes. <laughs> stuff gives off an energy. They're probably radioactive. Ooh, wait, active what now? God, I love your made up words. I need more. <laughs> this is amazing. Can you trace it? In theory, yes. But in reality, the magic needed to power such a device. No arc reactors in 1602. Again with the beautiful gibberish. <laughs> Opium. I doubt our new king will let me borrow his scepter. Well then, sounds like you need a thief to help you steal it. Who do you have in mind? Ah, uh, Paul Rudd. Oh, stop. 
Steve! Prince Loki, your carriage looks like it could use some lightning of its load. Roger's hurt. <laughs> yes! That's amazing! Whoa, what treasure is this? Victoria's sponge? Pineapple? It is Ant-Man! Oh, they got marzipan! We're here for the coin, not the cake. Is that Bucky? Oh! This must be some trickery, or a ghost. For my maid Margaret passed to the other side many moons ago. I'm dead in this world? That's great! <laughs> terrible, terrible. Quick, come on with haste, or they lost me to the eyes. <laughs> is there some place we can talk? I swear, I can explain everything. Are you like Friday's declares? They're amazing. <laughs> They'll blow your mind. <laughs> I love this so much. In your world, is there another Steve Rogers? Yes. Tell me what he's like. No, I... I don't think I will. No, I don't think I will. <laughs> what? <laughs> Men, we've got company! What? <laughs> You were ingesting about the king hating you. He thinks I killed his sister. Yeah, that would do it. <laughs> this is so awesome. Martin sends his regards, Logan. <laughs> Whoa, wait, wait, what? It's that happy? We just win. We just won. <laughs> no. Oh. Uh, I see now that I was wrong. Wow. That jumped up a notch. <sighs> Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. What's up, ugly? Huh? Throw that out an inch. Oh, I didn't think this through. Ha 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 ha! Careful, Boba, check up, fool! Ha ha! Yeah! <laughs> this is so... I love it. What if the world doesn't magically correct itself? What if it's the final straw that destroys this universe? What if when the universe resets, you're trapped here forever? What if you die? What if, what if, what if? I have to try. Because you're human. Because I'm Captain Carter. <laughs> nice. And if you're not going to help me, get out of my way. <laughs> Rogers told me about you. The monster in the iron mask. We could use your help. Shh. Go away. Don't want any trouble. But we need you. Oh! Oh! Yes! Oh, what? oh yes! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> I did manage to wrestle this from some palace guards on the way over. I thought you might need it. Touching. Would have gone the sonic personally. You guys are so cute. Uh, what's the plan? Lang, <laughs> blow that in my ear. <laughs> 
<laughs> Not now. Now or never. What's the signal? Tony said we'd know it when we saw it. I'm guessing that's it. <laughs> Yeah! Man, I love the swashbuckle. Here we go. That is so cool. Where's the hammer I got you? I have misplaced it. <laughs> <laughs> Skull cameo. This is freaking awesome. <laughs> yeah. This version of Happy is so fun. I'm sorry, my king. I'm quite out of time. Gary! Oh! This had better work start. To my name, just igniting an industrial and mystical revolution. Woo! You gotta be kidding me. Explodes. Really? What if it just doesn't work? Oh. Yes.
Oh man! That was amazing. I loved everything about that. That was just, that was incredible. The fact that we're even like getting this is amazing. I love that we have this show to get these stories we would never see. Like I said that in the Cohorty episode, but like here especially, like we would never get this in the MCU. So I mean, that's just so awesome we're getting to see it here. And just everything about this was just so fun. I'm just reading off the cast here and the names for like these characters. Like some of them just have their normal names, but then there's like Sir Fury, Wanda Merlin, my favorite, Sir Harold the Happy Hogan. That is just perfect. And Roger's Hood, like that is amazing. The concept of Roger's Hood, that's just brilliant. Because of course Steve Rogers would be this like thief that would want to give back to the people. Like that's just, that's perfect. And the fact that his two sidekicks are Bucky and Scott Lang, it's like that's perfect as well because Bucky obviously is best friend. And then Ant-Man, also a thief, and just his personality and everything, it was, it was great. And other than Tony Stark and Steve Rogers, everyone else was the returning actors. And I just love what all these actors did with these characters. Like, especially, like, what Jon Favreau did with this version of Happy. It's just, like, the voice and, like, just, like, over-the-top, like, like, short fuse and temper. It was just so much fun. I loved that so much. And the fact that we got to see the freak version of Happy again, that's amazing. Like, when we saw that in the Christmas episode... I mean, I assumed that'd be a one and done and we'd never see that again, but I'm so happy they brought it into this. I mean, hell, can we please get the freak in the MCU? That would be amazing. And just the story of this episode was just like, like that Steve Rogers in the Battle of Wakanda and Infinity War accidentally hits the time stone and then gets time displaced in the 1602 universe. And as a result of that, all these other characters keep getting pulled into that universe. That's just... That's so cool, I love that. I loved all the action and like the choreography with the sword fighting, that was so fun. And of course, we have the cliffhanger of Strange Supreme meeting with Captain Carter after he recruited Cohorty in her episode. And whatever the overarching threat of this season is, we will find out in the next episode, which is, What If Strange Supreme Intervened? So that's going to do it for my reaction to Marvel What If Season 2, Episode 8, What If the Avengers Assembled in 1602. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.